Hello and welcome to the QGIS or QGIS um, exercise 7. Um, this will involve um, kind of an expansion of exercise 6 and that will be actually building a graphical model in the graphical model builder um, to buffer and clip um, a shapefile. So the first thing you need to do is open up QGIS 2.6 um, and then what you'll want to do is go ahead and add um, the data from um, the exercise 7 folder. It should be the same as um, as the exercise 6 folder. So you want to add the ag field, the lake, the stream. Once those are added, um, and I don't have on the fly projection, that's why this is showing up. And uh, once those are added, um, what you'll want to do is actually open up your graphical modeler. So it should look like this. So it's under processing graphical modeler. Um, the next thing you'll want to do is to go ahead and add three vectors. So um, you'll just want to click here, and then you'll want to add one for stream. And you'll want to make that a line, because streams are lines. You'll want to add another vector, which is lakes. Lakes are polygons. Make that required. And then the last one you'll want to do is make an ag. And that's going to be a polygon, too, required. The next thing you'll want to do is we'll want to do a buffer. So um, right here you notice there's an input and there's an algorithm. So you want to click on the algorithms tab and then you'll want to just type in buffer just like you did in exercise 2 or exercise 6. Um, and then what you'll want to do is um, under the vector geometry tools double click on fixed distance buffer just like in exercise 6. Uh, for the input layer what we'll do is we'll find streams we're going to do a 10, uh, 10 um, unit buffer, uh, and since this is in UTM, it would be in meters, and a five segments, and yes, and then we'll leave this blank because it's not the final results. So you should see a little connector string like this. Um, we'll also want to do this for lakes as well, because we'll want to do that same buffer around the lakes. So you'll actually want to do a um, fixed distance buffer, and instead of... And you can go in and rename these two. So you could go in and go lakes, buffer, kind of make it a little easier to see. And same here, leave it uh, blank. I'm actually, while I'm in here, I'm just going to rename this as stream buffer. So it should look like this with the connectors. So the next thing, now that we've got them. Um, buffered, we'll want to merge the two of them. So we'll need to go in here and find a merge. And we'll want to use the merge um, shapes layer. And then what we'll want to do for the main layer is we will want to um, uh, we want to use the buffer from Uh, you can choose any of these, but um, buffer from um, we'll do this one here, and then what we'll do is we'll do the the lakes. So it's got to look like this. It's got to at least have the lakes and the streams. So we got the lakes here, we got the streams here. Once again, leave the result blank. So you should get a little thing that looks like this. Okay, now that we've buffered, we'll want to do a dissolve. So you'll want to go in your tool set and do a polygon dissolve. Actually, sorry, do it just a regular dissolve. And then what we'll do here is we will um, use the the output from before. And we want to leave that blank. And then we'll want to clip it. So uh, type in or search for clip, do vector overlay tools clip. And then what we'll do for the input layer, we'll do ag. That's cool. And then for the other, um, for the clip layer, we'll do the dissolve. So it should look like this. Um, that's the last result. So it should look, model should look like this. It should point up to the ag. 
and then there should be a dissolve here. And the last step what we'll do is the instructions say use the field calculator. Um, I would suggest using the field calculator with Python. Um, let's see if I can find it. So just type in calculator in the search tool and then under the vector table tools, select advanced Python field calculator. So what you'll want to do for, uh, it's pretty much the rest of it's the same for the instructions. There is a typo in the instructions. Um, and I'll show you that here in just a second. Explain that. For the input layer, you'll want the clip from above. For the field name you'll want zone underscore hect acre. You want to change the field type to integer. You want to leave the field length to 10. Leave the set the precision to 2. And this is where it's a little bit different. So what you'll want to do is you'll want to leave not under the global exp expression, but under the formula. What you'll want to do is type in dollar sign g o m dot a r e a brackets open and closed. Divide that by 10,000, just like you did in the other example with the 10,000 to get the hect acres. Um, there is a typo in the um, documentation, and it just says area. You also need to type in the geometry because it's got to pull up the geometry first. Since this is the final result, um, you can also type in zone dot shape here, and this will output it as the zone. Or this will actually just label it. Um, so this is pretty much what the field, what the model should look like. So you've got the streams that go down and they get buffered here. They get merged, the streams get, and the lakes get merged. Then they get dissolved by all. And then what happens is uh, the dissolve of these two outputs get clipped by the agricultural ac outputs. And then finally, that's called the zone. And then what it does is it calculates the hectic acres of those zones and puts an output as zone. Um, I would suggest saving the model. So oh, we got to name it. So I would just name it as like um, zone model. I think they give you an example in the instructions, but you can just do zone model on both the description. And then what you want to do here is just hit save. And it'll default you to some weird directory, but you'll want to go back to your, your QGIS directory where your exercises are. And I've already saved one model there, but I'll just save like a calc2.model. And you get this dialog that says model was saved. Just hit OK there. And then what you can do is you can hit the run model right here, which are the little gears. And you'll get these little drop downs here. So you'll have agriculture here. Um, and then see where it says lakes here. You'll want to move that to lakes. And then streams will be the only stream because it's an output of a shape file or of a line file, sorry. And then if you hit the dot 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 here, that'll tell you you can either save it as a temporary file or save it to file. This is a little bit different from the instructions. I'm just going to have you save it at this point to zone um, and just save it as zone. I'm going to save it as zone A because I've already saved multiple zones in there. Um, and just keep the output or open output file after running alg alg algorithm and just hit the run button. And this will take a minute to run the whole model. And it shows you the process. It's running a clip 5 of 6 right now. And that's it. There it is. So um, that is pretty much the whole model process. What I will do is show you. I'll open up the attribute table by right clicking on zone.shape, opening up the attribute table. You can see it calculated the hectares in there. 
um, you can also access the um, the models too by clicking on the processing toolbox and then there's also models in here too as well um, and you can create a new model in here you can add a model from a file so you can go through I've created for Twin Falls County in Idaho I've went through and created a model in there too that runs um, in a more advanced lecture and lesson I'll show you actually how to run those as a Python script so if you have any questions um, you can contact me thanks and have a great day